Sunday, January 7th, 2018, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. I want to talk about uh, central banks and why, in my opinion, and looking at common sense, they will not succeed to adopt the philosophy behind the new technology of decentralized ledgers and open source or the blockchain as it's called. I know it's evolving a lot, uh, changing very quickly. Uh, and why do I say that? Well, because uh, central bankers uh, and central banks, their uh, method is a secretive method. Uh, you only have to look at the this book by Eustace Mullins, which was one of the books used by um, G. Edward Griffin uh, to write his uh, secrets. Uh, Creature from Jekyll Island, I'm sorry. So this says, The Secrets of the Federal Reserve by Eustace Mullins. And uh, very good book. Uh, I bought it quite a few years ago. Uh, I don't remember when that was the last time I read it. I'll we'll probably read it again. It's always good read. But uh, I'll just go through the table of contents a little bit. Uh, Jekyll Island, you know, he talks about uh, how this group of... Uh, Bankers, uh, polit congressmen, politicians uh, took a train from Hoboken, New Jersey down to Georgia and how they only used uh, their uh, first names to identify themselves. It was all very hush-hush, no, no press, and they took a private uh, rail car or train car. That was back in 1910. Uh, they didn't fly down, of course. And... Uh, met at, on an island off the coast of Georgia. Um, yeah, and it was the backbone of uh, the Federal Reserve Act, even though they kind of said they've changed it. And even the vote for the uh, Federal Reserve Act, it was when uh, a lot of the uh, congressmen, politicians had gone home for Christmas and they voted on the 23rd of January, uh, 2000, uh, 1913. And back then, People had to go uh, a few days. They couldn't just fly out the day before. Uh, so that's how it was done through deception. And no one really knew, for example, once the Federal Reserve was created, who was behind uh, each uh, regional bank. So it's all secretive. The same thing for the Bank of England. There, there are shareholders. No one knows. Uh, we are told the Bank of England has been uh, nationalized in 1946, but I still believe uh, there's some powers behind uh, the Bank of England that influence the Bank of England. So what about uh, decentralized autonomous uh, organizations like uh, Dan Larimer likes to call it? Well, we might not know who owns, for example, tokens in EOS or any other uh, blockchain application or uh, idea, but all the rules, all the protocols are all open source. Anyone in the world who's a programmer can get involved. Um, and the other interesting thing is that the profits are distributed against, uh, there's no profits, but the uh, ecosystem benefits all the, the users, the, um, as, as uh, for example, Brendan Bloomer, who's the CEO of EOS, says, it benefits the users, the extractors of value, uh, and there is no like central authority to take the profit from, um, you know, the uh, interactors in the system. Uh, so, yeah, in my opinion, uh, all this new technology Maybe uh, some people say that blockchain is, uh, or sorry, the bit, uh, Bitcoin uh, could be something created by the NSA. They're going to come in and like uh, kill it. And maybe so, but I don't believe it. But even if it is, um, there's so much other things that have come out of the blockchain and uh, open source uh, that uh, is going to, be very difficult for the uh, central bankers and the powers that be to control. 
uh, the name already, Central Bank, uh, you know, should make you think twice. It's not the central bank, it's central. So it, every, it goes against uh, all the new philosophy uh, of this new way of doing things. And Brandon Bloomer of EOS calls it almost like a cooperative uh, system but with the uh, instant communication, instant um, view of things, uh, he explains like maybe a hundred years ago or more when you had the cooperatives, it was very difficult for people to meet up. They had to meet up in a central place, but with uh, the centralized autonomous organizations or corporations or communities, Everything's there on the internet, uh, on the on the blockchain. Everyone can see uh, anywhere in the world all the time. Uh, so, yeah, this this is going to uh, I think make the give it the power back to the individual. Um, how will gold play a role in this? It's difficult to say. Um, physical gold, uh, I think. Uh, in the technology, it, we will probably uh, be kind of uh, applied to it. But one thing about uh, gold is that uh, it's a physical commodity, so you have to hold it. So if you were going to apply it to the uh, decentralized autonomous communities, uh, someone, I think, in my opinion, will find a way to make it, uh, how can I say, viable. At the moment, there isn't because uh, if you do have a, a cryptocurrency backed by gold, someone has to keep it uh, somewhere, and that's centra centralizing it. So, uh, um, but one thing that could happen is that the uh, power of the central banks uh, will diminish, and uh, maybe governments will have to uh, abolish or. Uh, yeah or even repeal legal tender laws and then other you know gold and silver will compete again as money along with the cryptocurrencies gold and silver will be more of a a physical uh real world money and uh the cryptocurrencies will be the money of the uh how can i say of the world wide web of the internet uh difficult to say but um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to talk about. Just uh, the fact that uh, the bankers might use the technology technology that's evolving uh, to maybe help their centralized system. But uh, I think they're dinosaurs, as Brendan Bloomer said, because someone interviewed him and asked him uh, about Jamie Dimon's comment. Uh, that uh, Bitcoin blockchain is all a fraud. And he said, well, uh, his bank and the system, the centralized system, that's, uh, you know, going out. Uh, that's a dinosaur. That's not going to be around anymore. So he basically uh, said, I don't care about Jamie Dimon. So we, that's what I wanted to talk about. Quick video. Uh, so if you enjoyed this uh, video, please like, share it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Uh, follow me on steamit.com and DTube and on Twitter. I'll talk to you later. Bye.